yeah, my invitation uh, to give this session. Thanks to his parents, Anirudh Prabhu and Neela Mataji, who have been encouraging him all along. And of course, thanks to Naina Viram Prabhu for making this session happen by coordinating with Om Prabhu and his parents in a very short notice of two days. And uh, Om today is very enthusiastic to talk about uh, Gajendra Leela in this session. He's just seven years old. He lives in Edison, New Jersey, and uh, will be going to second grade in coming school year. And he likes to recite Dokas, play Mridangam, and do Kirtan. He loves to build temples with Holy Ghost. He has done many. So, Om Prabhu, if you get a chance, you can post that picture. Can. Um, and his favorite place is New Vrindavan, which is in West Virginia. He is planning to visit Maya soon. So, let's all give full attention uh, towards him and um, encourage him. So, let's hear from him about Gajendra Leela. So, Prabhu, please take over. Everybody, Dandut, Hare Krishna Pavaji Mataji, Dandut Pranam. Please accept my humble obeisances. Today I'm going to talk on Gajendra Leela and thank you for the opportunity you have given me. Today I'm going to talk on Gajendra Leela. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale, Srimate Bhakti. Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesh Shunyavadi Pashyata Deshatarine Panchakalpata Rupyasya Cha Kripa Sindhu Pyaevacha Patita Nama Papa Nepyo Vaishnava Vyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna. Gajendra Leela is found in Srimad Bhagavatam in the 8th canto. Today we will travel back in time to learn this story. Thousands and thousands of years ago, in the middle of ocean of milk, there was, there were many mountains, lakes and beaches. The beaches were covered in jewels. The mountains were very beautiful. One of such mountains we will talk about today is called Trikuta. There were different kinds of animals living in these mountains. In the valley of Trikuta, there was, a there was a beautiful garden called Ruthumat that was built by Varuna. The garden had a large lake that was filled with lotus flowers. The lake was home to swans, cranes, tortoise, crocodiles, and birds, etc. The valley was the valley was home to many animals, including elephants. Gajendra was the leader of the elephants in the valley. He was very gigantic. When he walked. The entire valley would tremble and he would crush many trees. Once he came to this lake with his family to enjoy bathing and playing with his friends. Suddenly, 
Suddenly, a very powerful crocodile who was in water attacked Gajendra's leg. They kept fighting for over one cell. 1,000 celestial years. Neither of them died, as both were very powerful. Being in water made Gajendra very weak and the crocodile stronger. Even Gajendra's wives and friends were not able to help him. Gajendra and Crocodile were not just animals. Gajendra in his past life was King Indra Dunya, who was cursed by his Guru Agastya Muni to become an elephant. Upon asking for forgiveness, Agastya Muni said he would be free from the curse only by Lord Narayana. Crocodile in his past life was a beautiful Gandharva named Huhu who interrupted Sage Devil's meditation in water. He was cursed to be a crocodile in his next life. Upon begging for forgiveness, Sage Devil told that he will be redeemed by the mercy of Lord Narayana. As both elephant and crocodile fought Gajendra, fought, Gajendra was getting weak when he was in a very helpless state. He started to cry out to the Lord Listening to his play, prayers, Lord Narayana came on his Garuda to rescue Gajendra. Seeing the beautiful form of Lord, Gajendra offered a lotus flower from the lake. Sri Krishna in Bhagavad Gita 9.26 says, Patram Pushpam Phalam Toyam Yo me bhaktya prayachati tadaham bhakti rupa gutam ashnami prayatatmanaha. If one offers me with love and devotion a leaf, a flower, a fruit, or water, I will accept it. Lord accepted the flower offering from Gajendra. Lord Narayana cut the head of the crocodile with his Sudarshan Chakra. Crocodile got his original form of Gandharva. He thanked the Lord and went back to higher planet. <laughs> Lesson for clarity. 
Thank you for the answer. That was a good point. Would anybody else like to answer this question? A lesson for humanity. Would anybody else like to answer this question? Krishna is always merciful, so no matter how bad you are or how good you are, he'll always rescue you. Take you back to. Thank you. That was a. Thank you for the answer. That was a good point. Would anybody else like to answer this question? Would anybody else like to answer this question? Jesus Krishna, you were there in the call. You want to see the answer? Yes, Prabhuji. Um, I think it's because, like, uh, because, like, Gajendra uh, was proud and the crocodile also had, they both had material desires, but when we're not high enough as part of that, it made a lesson for humanity not to be proud and not to like do any material things. So that's why I'm proud. Thank you. Thank you for the answer. That was a good point. Now let's see what the answer is. It is an ordinary story which occurs every day, but what makes this so special? is Gajendra's response in the, in the situation. Answer. Gajendra prayed wholeheartedly and surrendered to the Lord unconditionally. How does this story relate to us? Just like Gajendra, we decide to take a vacation and entered the bond of material existence away from Krishna. As soon as we entered the sharp and strong jaws of Maya, similar to a crocodile holds us very tight. Just like Gajendra, we think, oh, the situation will improve eventually. But Maya is as eternal as us. She will never let us off the hook like the crocodile. Lord Krishna is always with us as Paramatma in our hearts in every lifetime. If we turn to Lord Krishna, we can turn any ordinary situation into an extraordinary situation. Lord Krishna appears in the darkness night uh, in a prison cell of Mathura in the most helpless situation. Similarly, when one calls out to the Lord in a humble mood, in a surrendered mood, then Lord Krishna will appear for us also. We, we find many examples of surrender. Gajendra, Draupati, Prahlad Maharaj, etc. To understand the importance of surrender, I would like to share a story of a sadhu and a dobi. Dobi was washing the clothes and in the same river where the sadhu was taking a bath. When the sadhu came out of the when the sadhu came out of the river after his bath, some dirty water got sprayed from 
Dobby's washing. Sadhu went back in the river to take bath again and came out only to get splashed again. It kept happening again and again. Seeing this, Goddess Lakshmi requested Lord Narayana to please go and help Sadhu. Just before Lord Narayana was reaching the river, Sadhu got very, very angry and said to Dobi, I am a great Sadhu and I have power to curse you. Upon hearing this, Lord Narayana returned back to Vaikuntha, saying that Sadhu has taken his has taken matters in his hands. Now Sadhu does not need me. When we think we are something and have false ego like Sadhu in this story, we cannot attain Lord Krishna and we fall back in Maya. Unconditional surrender unto Lord is a very important part of spiritual advancement. What did we learn today? We should offer our prayers to Lord in a very humble and wholehearted manner. We should understand that Lord Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead and is our only resort. Surrender and Un surrender unconditionally unto Lord Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji Mataji Dandot Pranam. Thank you for giving me your the uh, opportunity. Please forgive me if I did if I made any mistakes. And if you have any questions, I will attempt to answer them. Thank you very much, Kamarbu. That's really nice. Um, can you please uh, stop your share screen share? Nice. Thank you again. A wonderful presentation. Thank you, Proji. Thank you, Krishna. Uh, really nice. Thank you, yes, Proji. Uh, we can easily understand. Thank you, Proji. Doka recitation is too good. Keep it up. Thank you, Prabhuji. The way you made everyone interactive, right? Involve others. That is also very nice. The analogy which you gave, the Gajendra Vila and our material existence, is also very good. The story of Sadhu and Dobi and the moral. Really nice. So, very nice. Thank you. Thank you, I wish you all the best in all. All of your future endeavors you. and thanks to your parents of course Anirudh Prabhu and Neela Mataji for supporting and guiding you in all aspects of consciousness. So Om Prabhu you have to be very grateful and thankful to your parents. Thank you Prabhuji. So others if you have any comments or questions please unmute yourself and can ask. Today we also have uh, on this session we have Radha Raman Prabhu from Bangalore. Uh, he's very supportive. He is the uh, root cause for this Pavan of Provision series. So thank you, Prabhu, for joining and encouraging us. Um, so, others, you have comments, questions, please, guys. We have one in the chat window saying very nice presentation. It's by from Jagannath. Thank you, Jagannath Hare Krishna. Thank you, Anid Hare Krishna. 
you can uh, as well speak out if you have in this session. Yeah. I would like to say something about Om Prabhu. Me too. Uh, Om Prabhu is very, very sincere. Thank you, Prabhuji. Uh, uh, one thing which I like the most in, in Om Prabhu is for every uh, statement anyone makes, immediately he follows by saying thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, Prabhuji. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Prabhuji. He's so grounded. And he's always um, very eager, especially in the classes whenever he comes, he's very attentive. Thank you, Prabhuji. To learn new things. And he always wants to make sure that for Sunday classes, when you play Kapoor, um, you know, he wants to make sure he wins the game. That shows his dedication. Now, firstly, I think I want to thank uh, Neelam Mataji. A short notice, uh, she has accepted to you know, make this presentation, encourage Om Prabhu, even though I was discouraging her, I said, you know, it's our uh, only one who needs to make the presentation, but she said, no, I want to make this presentation, so, thank you so much, Nila Mataji. Thank you so much for the opportunity, actually, I also tried to discourage him, he was like, no, I am so, I want to do it, I cannot wait to do it, so, I could not let that happen. <laughs> what I what have seen in Om Prabhu is a natural speaker. The way he is speaking, the way he is, you know, delivering the message, he's a natural speaker, and how he's engaging all the uh, students who are there in the class. So very nice, very grateful, Om Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhuji. Uh, see, thank you, Prabhuji. <laughs> so may you see Radha Vrindavan Chandra, how did I, you know, bless you and your wonderful family for supporting me, for supporting you. May the Lord shed the Lord shed shower their causes once again. Thank you once again. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Thank you, Naina Vidam Prabhu, for inspirational words. Dina Krishna, you want to speak? Yes. That was a very nice presentation, Om Prabhu. Thank you, Dina Krishna. Krishna. Thank you. We have a couple of messages in the chat window. Sai Shri Mataji says it's beautiful presentation. And Zoom user, I think that's what Thank Lama you, Mataji. Yes. yes. Yes, that's what Lama Mataji. Thank He's you, been Mataji. one of our senior most uh, you know, devotees in our congregation. He's very, very inspiring uh, devotee. So thank you, Mataji, for joining and encouraging him. Uh, she says it's a very nice presentation. Lord Krishna's blessings. Keep up the good work. All the best. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. Varun Prabhu says that creative presentation is great message delivery for simple mind. Thank you, Prabhu Jain Mataji. You are welcome, dear. Take care. Anybody else wants to? Nice. Again, uh, thanks, Varun Prabhu, for such a wonderful presentation and a very short notice. And your parents, of course. Thank you. Uh,